You play Talinan. You play Talinan, which gets you Simless. And only Simless? You don't play Gord. I... I don't hate cutting the Gord. Oh, we don't play Gord either. Haha, uh -huh, I just realized that. I don't hate cutting the Gord because... Um, he's not a nature card. <laughs> he's not a nature card. Hmm. Is Talianin? How do you feel about Talianin? And what do you cut for Talianin? You cut Philavandral for Talianin. You cut Philavandral for Talianin, and then you gotta also downgrade the double Dwen Canal Guardians to. Oak Critters and Dryad Enchantress. Hmm. I feel like short line three is sometimes uh, weird if you end up with Ethne and two caresses or something. Okay. Oh, Chester also linked something. Is also playing Talianin. But that version is not playing Aquin. I think Aquin's too good to cut. Like, if you're playing Talinin, you want to play a more engine-heavy version, right? If you're going to play Talinin. And so Aquin is plays perfectly into that, that game plan. But I do think that... Uh, okay, so Talinin... Talinin... What do you send back to your deck? A Treant? Fove? You almost oh, every time try to lean in the Fove. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I think it's Fove, Fove number one, and then like a Treant or a Frog number two, right? Witchers play for 14 points together with frogs. Yeah, witchers are good. Witchers are good, but I think like you're you're only you're not playing Philavandral and you're only playing frogs. So I don't know if you can uh play two of them. Play two witchers, that is. But I mean we do have to put in two more units. Two more four provision Scoyatel units at this point. Um Ross had Riot Enchantress and Oak Critters. If I have Ethne in hand round one with Talinin from red, you can also jam and buff Ethne for a short round three. Oh, go double harvest, you're saying. Simless in the harvest, yeah. Uh... This card is a 7 plus a symbiosis, a relatively weak and easy to remove symbiosis engine. But it's slow. Um, I feel like Oak Critters is better than this. I don't know, they're both slow. They're both slow as hell. Dryad Enchantress is faster? Yeah, it's either this, this, or another Witcher. I don't hate another Witcher. You also have Fledglings. Like, Witcher doesn't... You, you don't... It's not just Frog Mating Season that makes Witchers good, but Fledglings also make Witchers good. If the Fledgling survives. And then you can, like, yoink the vitality from the Witcher. But I think we'll play two Witchers, and then... I think I like the Enchantress more than the Oak Critters. It doesn't take up as much space. Um, and the Symbiosis proc, like they both need to be played kind of early. The Symbiosis proc should should do more than three points. If they need, if you if you play it with three or four turns remaining, right? There should be more than three points coming from Symbiosis. You don't like Aquan that much because it always gets removed and Selena deck doesn't have issues to proc symbiosis. But if but if Aquan's gets removed, then like Talinan has a better chance of sticking and Frexna has a better chance of sticking. 
Enchantress is okay with... Uh, yeah, Enchantress and Witcher both give vitality for Fractionate. Alright, let's try this. Shaping Nature Echo. Oh, you're playing Shaping Nature in your version. Okay. Uh. All right, so. Okay, so I'm, I'm putting it into the spreadsheet. We've got Symbiosis, Devotion, Aliyan. Do it. How much is that thin? Talinin thins one, Simulsim two, that's three. Paul four, Isengrim's Council five, Fove six. Deck thin six is pretty good. The thinning is pretty good. Don't make me laugh. Uh oh, inspired zeal. This is where I feel like it would be really nice to have those guardians. You know? So I gotta mulligan this. Or should I have kept that? Because I can... No, I... I need either the Simless or the Bountiful Harvest to have a target for the Talinan. Without the Bountiful Harvest, the Talinan doesn't... I don't know if they play Margarita. They might play Margarita. Ah, oh, the brick. Okay, so we're not getting Talinan in this round. I could have gone and gotten the Talinan. What do I buff? What do I TA if I don't TA this? One of each nature, of course, yeah. I'm just thinking, what do I TA if I don't TA this? If I'm gonna- if I don't have anything else to TA, I might as well just TA this. Maybe Triant? Okay, maybe Triant for removal. That's true. TAing this is bad for, like... Um, for Onseus. Hmm. We could just rebuke this. We will probably always have power in the back row. So if I'm not going for Call the Forest with Fove onto the Talina in this round, I just save Fove. I could go for Fledgling. Although, this is, he's going to kill a lot of stuff this turn. This round, I mean. I also would like to save this for something that's like more targetable. Hmm. I do not know. Let's go with this. And then we use this to remove. And then, I don't know, we just play like nature cards. We just play cheap nature cards to try to get Aquan value. Play Siege. Bards. I didn't play Symbiosis when you could be playing Princess of the Underworld. Oh yeah, Hades got an update, right, Gulo? That's very nice. Damn, this doesn't... Talina can play Simulus twice? No, he can't. 
It can only bounce nine provision units or lower. I don't know if we keep fighting for this round or not. <laughs> This is kind of bad for us. It's kind of bad for us. I can't kill this. Or maybe we could go... We could have maybe gone frog mating season first. Frog mating season and then... And then... Um, pawn keeper this. Oh, frog witcher. But what are we getting with Fove? You want to get rebuke with Fove? And he's going to like winch this soon. I think we're going to give up the round. Siege gone. I don't feel too bad about it. One, two, three. He also didn't play Temple, yeah. So we have second form Temple. You had an Oninger? That's pretty nice. The city and we get the Hubert? Rot. Okay, we can pass here. We traded a Caress for an Oninger plus Hubert. He still has to play a card. <laughs> I think he still has to play a card. Oh no, you know, he played Winch, right? Played Winch. Get rid of the Bountiful Harvest. Try not to draw the Simless. Direction is great. Ah, pass is really good. Double Bountiful Harvest. Okay. That's kind of fine. Council. Wait, Council is really weird in this deck, no? Doesn't Council only get you like a Dryad? And a very random Dryad? Because how do you ever counsel for elf? Your counsel for elf is like always going to be RNG. You don't want to counsel out the Simless because you want to lean out the Simless. Like you just, and you have no dwarf. You just counsel for random dryad. It's kind of weird. It makes this enchantress a little bit worse maybe. Because it makes your odds of, I mean, I guess it's also better because you have more dryads so you don't break your counsel. But Council is like just a lot of points. It's a nature card. It's just an extra like six points in this deck. What the heck? So he's passing? Council could you be shaping nature? No, 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 no. Council is better as... Just Council is better than shaping nature even with like the lack of tags in this deck. I think. Mm, I want this or this. Like, if he's passing anyways, it doesn't really matter. If he decides to still randomly play, I actually think I want the Pyrotech. Uh -oh. What do we play next? I don't want to play any of my cards next. I 
if I go into round three with Fractionate and Frog Mating Season, isn't it going to be a bit, like, it's going to be over swarming like crazy. So, do we want to play Fractionate or do we want to play Frog Mating Season? Frog Mating Season right now, I only have one unit. Okay, he's not passing. It seems like he's not passing. I have no fondness for my we can also play council here. I think I'll just play Fractionate. We, we don't want both of these in round three. Let's just play Fractionate. Um, the question is, do we leader it? I have Triad's Caress, but I also want to Caress this. I think we, I think we don't need to. We could also, um, yeah, we could caress this. We could shaping nature this. How does shaping nature work with Fractionet? You lose like one of the vitalities first from the frog. What is this? Why is he pushing so hard in this round now after playing the tallest into bombardment? Is this just a mistake, I guess? It might have been just a mistake. So here, I think it's either Caress or Fove into Talianen. I think I might want to do Fove into Talianen. Oh god. Oh god the rope. You see anyone? You make sure they don't see you back. Oh. I roped. I roped so I kind of had to just take the thing that doesn't require targeting. I think I, I think I must have messed up. I think I took the choice that buffed the Cat Witcher Adept with the bo second Bountiful Harvest and the Farseer didn't buff anything. I believe. Maybe? No. Oh, no, 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 I didn't, I didn't mess up. It, the, the second Bountiful Harvest went on the Pawn Keeper, which went to eight, has four hand buff, and then this got two buffs from the Farseer. So we're, we're good. Inch. The last card he played was this. Um. Mm. Space. I think we take this. The space. Riot! Do we like Talenin's design? Yeah, I think it's pretty good. Hey, Dovakin, thanks. Hope you're well, too. Council? Yeah. Alright. Hey Gaffer, started playing Gwen again after about a year off, having a lot of fun. Awesome. So good to hear. I don't want this, right? What's our wait, open ethne? Shoot to kill. Give no ethne, then fledgling, then fledgling. Then I think we're gonna probably fove this or this, one of these two. What? Press what? Those mermaids. What? Huh? Okay. Morning, Mrs. Dog. 
And before boiling oil. I don't know if I want to protect this with the Mahakam Pass because I might want to use the Mahakam Pass on the Treant so I can toss it at something. I think I... I don't know. Don't know what I want to do here with this. Uh, I think we just wait. I think it's just not that big of a deal if he oils this. Yeah, I think this is not that big of a deal. Um, check out some of your recent VODs and it's nice to see you're still enjoying the game and building fun decks. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, so here like we want to kill this, right? So we want to do this. This. That's getting him five points a turn. Double foe value. You're still in the returning phase. Don't know what half the cards do. That's okay. I'm an officer. I'm a gentleman. I think we kill this. Yeah. Do we kill the Hen Salt or do we kill the Carol Ballista? Or do we just like ignore both and go fledgling? Maybe we just freaking ignore both. Ethne is just busted. Ethne is pretty freaking good. 18 point diplomacy? Holy. Very nice. I could also rebuke. We could rebuke this. Holy. Yeah, we've got way more engines than he does. Okay. How much space do I have? Uh... <laughs> um... I think I'm. I, I have nine spaces. This, this is one. This takes five. That's six, seven. I I don't have enough space. I don't have enough space. Um. No mercy. Give a unit four vitality. Okay. Hail, I've only recently thought about how frogs make Cat Winter out of so much better. Yeah. Way better. Oh, he used this to grow this. Okay. Um. So rebuke here. Wait, rebuke is what? Rebuke is seven points? This is five points only. We should go with rebuke. And this is one less unit. Uh... So how much space do I have here? I, I don't think I can play this first. If I play this first... I will have zero spaces if I play this first. So we gotta play this first. We're up 50. Casual 50. And then I guess we lose we lose some frogs from the frog mating season. You could play frog on two front row units. Uh I guess that's true. That's true. We could have played frog on two front units. Well. 
GG. Okay. Yeah, row space is definitely an issue. Frog mating season, fra like we didn't even have wait on fraction in that in that um round. We didn't play the Talinin Simless into Double Bountiful Harvest. That would have like Talinin into Simless into Double Bountiful Harvest is one from Talinin, the Simless and the Bounce cancel out, and then like four from the Harvest. So that's five. And then when you play backup plan, that's another at least one. So six. Talina is six units by herself. Frog mating scene is in five. Uh, Fractionate could be like... Ethne for round three is not really that good unless you can go like... Call the forest into Fove into Ice and Gloom's Council into uh, some, you know, like uh, a... Uh, a Naya. Right, you can like chain five, four symbiosis or five symbiosis or five, four nature, five nature into the same turn. Then she's good, but normally she's a long round card. We have to double rebuke for for tier. Location doesn't lack stats. Location is good. Come on! Show us what you got! Damn it. You can already War of Clans for six damage. Natal Fiend. Hmm. So I could play Mahakam Pass. I could play Aquin. If I play Aquin, she's gonna die. Even if I leader her, she's gonna die to War of Clans if he has it. I was thinking Mahakam Pass and then Aquin. I think you start Fractionate here and then Aquin. Okay. Yes, they won't let us talk to strangers. But this. Well, now I'm the bed yet I would go. I I would go Dryad's caress instead of instead of this Aquan. Aquin's gonna die. So, like, she gets the same value whether we play her later or now. Right? Stop spawning in the range row, you freaking trance! We raid, we fight, we plunder. Full service! I would bet my apple you'll not leave Brocolon. Not alive at any rate. Hmm. What do you guys think about Circle of Life a crow to buff Aquan? Or oh my god, I'm lagging. Aquan will die anyways. Caress again? Well, I don't want to. I don't want to caress this. I'm lagging hard. Or we could buff to Leonin. We could just buff to. We could buff to Leonin. To Leonin is like getting her to a seven. She probably dies later anyways, because like War of Clans already does seven. I mean, I could get her to eight. If I get her to seven, I could get her to eight. Okay, so the War of Clans used up. Now we play Aquin. I think we're ahead. And I don't think we do anything here. 
because Blood Eagle is gone. There's no War of Clans unit in the graveyard. Primal Savager doesn't do enough. He has to like either Stunning Blow or Double Leader Gutting Slash. That's why I was thinking Crest again. That's okay. I think that's okay that he used such a big damage thing to kill. Oh, he does have a Gutting Slash. Sorry, not Double Gutting. No, not Double Leader Gutting Slash. It's regular Gutting Slash. But I, I, I kind of regret not buffing her. I kind of regret not buffing her now to seven. She was actually really good at seven. Mm. Ugh. I must warn the others. Still have a lot of symbiosis. Huh? Oh, he's leadering to get ahead. my board. Wanna know why I got my scar? Okay, we're ahead. Too bad that this didn't go on the front row. This man didn't go on the front row. Or need I kill you again? What are you? <clears throat> la 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 la. We got his leader, which is good. We're saving the double rebukes for tier. <laughs> Reasons for the feeble of heart. This should get us ahead, right? I guess I should have buffed this one, maybe. But this one goes taller. I think it's like champions charged. Or maybe I should maybe I should have just buffed Oh, I should have buffed the, one of the Oops. How, how much power was that guy at? Kinda sucks. I have to pass now. That guy was at eight power, so it was just we only lost one point. I think I have to pass now. Like, yes, we play Talion and we went on even, but then we just lose the tier because we can't answer tier. But what if he opens tier in round one? If he open or if he opens tier next round, we're also still losing the tier. Maybe we can we can like counsel into Simless into double rebuke or just draw Simless. If we draw Simless, we can Simless double rebuke and then like Talion and um, one of the elves from Bountiful Harvest. You can play pass and leader, but pass doesn't have, there's no space to play pass. And the last card, the last card might not even be that good of a card. It, it might not even beat here. Okay, I need to get rebuke in the deck. I need to get Simless or Council in my hand. Preferably. Suck. Okay. Okay, he passes. That's good. Um, do 
we want to play harvest or pass pass is good the deploy of pass is pretty good it's got a lot of armor I think we get rid of this card adapt yeah we're gonna seamless rebuke so I was thinking about getting rid of adapt or, or maybe playing Mahakam or Bountiful Harvest but I think I'd rather keep the harvest I don't know maybe we just play Oh, I should have taken the card that buffed up Kalinan again. Then, don't budge. Kalinan is at risk of dying at 10 power. Right? Is it? Maybe not. Maybe not really at risk of dying. At 10 power. But there's no downside to buffing her, right? Unless there's like a Morkvar card of terror, which I mean, she's not even going to get Morkvar if there is a Morkvar. Champion's charge is gone. Hey, Bob. But I shouldn't. I'm. I don't want to play this card, so I actually should not have taken the right option. Oh no! It's brick. It's brick time. Okay. Oh nice. Ethne only triad. <laughs> we almost bricked. We had to avoid this brick and this brick. So like four of our cards in the deck were bricks here. No mercy. I acknowledge neither your maps nor your borders. Pass with Carol with symbiosis is OP. Yeah, it is. Here, let me take. We'll build up he took the raider. Took the raider and put back an invader. I don't have anything to bounce. I don't have anything to bounce, chat. No. Oh, man. We done goofed. So I should have opened, I guess I should have opened this. Dance, dance, dance yeah, pass like will give me, but like, but he's just going to play War of Clans here and get another eight, extra eight points. Nyad gives two bodies. You think they have a problem killing two bodies? Oh, he didn't res. He didn't res. Saved. Saved. I repeat, we are not taking souvenirs. Feign not ignorant. Remember to whom you speak. This is still pretty scary, though. I think we just do all of these. No more pawn keeper, sadly. If we had a pawn keeper, we could kill this too. Dude, what? He could have he could have just played Harold first and then played Ulula next turn. What? All 
all suck? Oh no. I think we buff that, because he doesn't have he only has four damage primal savagery. God save us. He's a madman. Are any are either of these two gonna survive? I mean it's possible. There's still a raider in his hand that doesn't have zeal. I need one of these to Oh my god, dude, he's just so many golds. Sacrifices for many seed, one and all. Lol. I think we get I get, I think we got the points. Oh. So he's going to have a raider finisher. Dude, imagine if he actually Would have been pretty close, I think. He had If he had what, 8 extra points here? How close would it have been if you had eight extra points? Women, children, elders. We would have lost. We would have lost. We would have lost if you had eight extra points. I think it might have been like seven extra points. No, it would have been eight extra points because the Herald... Yeah, it would have been eight extra points, right? The Herald gets procced by the Ulula. When he plays the Ulula, the Herald... If he plays the Ulula after his Herald, his Herald gets procced by the Ulula and he still gets those two points on the next turn. There was pretty much no reason to play Ulula before Harold. <clears throat> so, you just assume that you have no answer when you didn't answer. Yeah, true, but I mean, I don't know. This matchup with the devotion, it is pretty obvious that to most players, or it should be pretty obvious to most players, that the, the two main ways you answer this is with double, uh, similar double, similar double, um, rebuke or big treant pawn keep. But I guess, like, he thought, maybe he didn't think about the Talinan possibility. He probably thought, like, oh, if I had Simless, I would just Simless there. But because I didn't Simless, I must not have Simless. But didn't think about, like, the Talinan needed a, a targetable unit to set up. For the Simless. Okay. The mirror. In the mirror, I recall the strategy is, well, the strategy is draw your Mahakam Pass round one, play Mahakam Pass in round one, win round one without playing your Aquan unless they play their Aquan, and then push round two with Aquan and Mahakam Pass already on the board. But we don't have the pass. And I, I'm pretty sure in this matchup, we're not supposed to play Aquan until he plays his Aquan. Problem is, I don't have anything to play. Okay, so we play Call of the Forest into Frexnet. <laughs> Stop listening after you said draw pass round one. <laughs> he might not have pass. He might not have pass. You have beautiful green eyes. Beautiful everything, really. I need some trance to spawn in the range row. But this is the only trance that was one power. Okay, he's devotion. I have no fondness for my time as a corporate. Yet fish. I my old name. I don't remember. Yeah. I don't care. I don't have enough reach. Uh 
Uh, do we want to play? Do we maybe want to? I don't want to hit this because then he just by like he just boosts it. I think we do this. Or maybe we do actually, you know, maybe we go. Hmm, no, I need to save the pawn keepers for damage. We gotta save the pawn keepers for damage. I think we just do this. But it's gonna be it, like I'm not gonna catch up to this. It's difficult to kill this. Okay, he plays Aquan. So then Okay, now we kill the Aquan. What are you? So now, do we play our Aquan? Or do we just... Like, he has no Aquan anymore. I have an Aquan. We have similar... Similar engines on the board. I, I think it's better to just answer his engines now instead of playing the Aquan. In my opinion. I could also think about passing at some point. Come on in. I should pass. I should just get out now. Both of his fledglings are gone. Aquin is gone. I still have both of my fledglings. Although the fledglings are kind of hard to protect. Or maybe we could, we could like Bountiful Harvest the fledglings or Circle of Life the fledglings and then like maybe Council a fledgling. Maybe, if we're lucky and we draw this to lean in. We also have to, um, we also have to be aware of the fact that maybe we don't get the to lean in and the council shows us Simless instead. I do think that this is a good pass. He spent way more resources than us in this round. But, uh, first say is typically very good in this matchup. First say, giving up first say is a little bit of a worry. Like, I mean, do I keep this? Hold on. Okay, um... I can't. So awkward. Okay. Okay. We know no Mahakam pass still. Still no Mahakam pass. Korean scam call? No, not scam, just like spam. It's like an advertisement from one of the shops here. Wait, he's on seven cards. I just realized he's on seven cards. That might have been a mistake. He doesn't a pass? Good human is a dead human. I really thought he was going to pass there. <laughs> okay. Oh my... Oh wait, that's kind of bad for his triad. Hmm... I want to buff this, to be honest. I Maybe we just go to Leonin now. Let's just go to Leonin now. Honestly. I repeat, we are not taking souvenirs. Only one we try to take the right side if possible. Oh, Jesus. Okay, I I don't, I'm gonna I'm gonna Blood 
Hello there, neck hands. Similian Vat. I must re-examine the manuscripts. Am I ahead? Oh my god! Wait, I'm not ahead. I'm not ahead, but he doesn't pass. I don't think we take Whisper. Whisper would have flooded the board. I would have lost. I would have gotten two zero if I took Whisper, and I wouldn't be able to play my cards. I think. He's an eight power treant now. Ho ho ho! Holy! They can hide, but there is no escape. I'm I'm still flooding the board. <laughs> I still have no space. Hmm. What should we do? He passed. Ooh. We kept our card advantage. He used Philavandrel. We used... We used a lot too, though. We used a lot in this round. We kind of overkilled him a bit in this round. But we have Ethne. I mean, he also has Ethne. I mean, I don't know. Are we winning this? I'm not really sure if we're actually willing, winning this. There is brick possibility here. I think we get rid of this. Oh no, no, we should keep this and play it with the Mahakam Pass. Okay, so then we just keep this. Just keep this hand. Hand is good. If it's space for frogs, I mean, we just, we keep it, right? I think we just keep it. I should play this range row, actually. I should play that range row. Uh, play this now. Excellent. I want to leader this. I want to save leader for this. Come to me, little one. Okay, so the fledglings are gone. This is probably the next biggest threat. I think I'm gonna Mahakam pass this fledgling. He still has rebukes. He hasn't played any rebukes. Rather than Mahakam pass this, I, I get more points for saving this, keeping this alive. The wind whistles, willows whip. This is our... Circle of Life actually would have been decent points. Oh, let me sing the song of my people. Do I need to leader anything else? I guess I could leader this card. Like, I was thinking we should leader this to. Um, I should have leadered. I should have used one leader on this, I think, right? Oh, he's played both of these now. Then we don't care. Spale. 
What do we want to kill? Do we want to kill anything with this? Or do we just play back row? I guess we don't want to kill anything. Act Killing stuff age. makes space for, for him. Two centuries, you behave like you were barely what? Oh, we, now we do want to kill something. <laughs> now we definitely want to kill something. Going to be... Going to be a little bit scary. Spit it out already. Just running out of space. I don't have all day. This is going to put a lot of vitality on this, but if I slot this in the front, this is going to die. Kill his own unit. If I slot this in front, it goes to 5 power. And then it gets rebuked. But I guess it doesn't... We don't lose too much from it dying, right? Because it doesn't have a... It doesn't have symbiosis on it. We only lose one point from it dying. And in the there's a small chance that he doesn't have a rebuke. Or he doesn't play the rebuke. And it's better. Okay. Nice. Woo! Nice. So I thought we played that fairly well. The big mistake, if there was a mistake in this game, was probably playing Aquin when he was still at seven cards in round two. I wonder what would have what would have happened if we played Aquin and then he passed. And then we go into a ten card round three. We both kind of over flood. He probably over floods worse than me. He still had to play Simless. We both had frogs. No, we didn't have Simless anymore, did we? Oh, we, no, we did. We both had Simless. Like, we had Talene. If he passes, we still have Talene and Simless. And we're both going to run out of space in the long round three. Hey, Fruits, rematch. Are you going to play any other decks today? Um, I'm not sure. I guess we'll have to see how this goes. But I'm not against it. Fruits, we're going second. Okay, so... hand looks very good. Uh, yeah, this hand looks very good. I, I want to, I want to mulligan this ethne. Is that crazy? Is, is it crazy? It might be crazy. Let's just keep this hand, I guess. Look at a mulligan. We'll get a mulliganing. Is there hope for a Regis deck? Regis, like the one, two, three, four, five Regis? I don't know. I'm mulliganing Ethne because she's in the middle anyways. I can't really buff her very consistently. Um, I don't think, I don't think that card is, like, you can make a meme deck with it, but I don't think it's ever going to be good. That Broccolon would be my, own. my apple, you're Who not would have thought? Not alive at any rate. Wait, because we have Caress. <clears throat> I haven't thought about the card too much, though, recently. It's been a long time since I thought about the card. Okay, he doesn't kill. Alrighty then. Then, should we go Caress or should we go Aquin? I think we'll go Caress here. Villain into Regis. Yeah, Villain into Regis, but it doesn't have like, it was better before when Roderick was at two power. I guess Joachim's at two power now. Now he takes the heat wave. Okay, that's fine. Played Onero for it. So I 
think we play this now. Is there a way for me to... I could block the... I could block the Riptide by going YOLOing Council, but I think it's probably still better to do this. You might muzzle this. Probably should have played something front because of Fiend. All right, do we still fight for this round? We're 23 points behind. Can't tell yet if he's engines or no engines. I think it's probably safer to fight for this round. It should be safer to fight for this round. Um... Play around Toad Prince. I think not. <clears throat> if he's going to play a Toad Prince here, then we can pass. We have Symbiosis 4 right now. We need 16 points. We have Symbiosis 4. So I think... Okay, he's Engines. He is engines. Oh, okay, so that makes me want to push more. He's engines. No mercy. Hmm. Taking souvenirs. You are no lunet of mine. Oh my god. Okay, we're taking this one. <laughs> this time we're taking it. Um The soil is fertile. Fertile with magic. And dead to one. I should have moved something to the f I don't know what, what I was going to Maybe I should have done something else. They're surprisingly clean creatures, as it happens. This was a mistake. Filling up the back row was a mistake. Blood and neck ends. Similian Vat. Um. The Valley of Flowers. There is no place more beautiful. Okay. Should we click this now? I think we click this now, right? Like, we want to kind of get out of this round now. We don't really want to keep playing. The card that we would keep playing if we did would be Call of the Forest. Call of the Forest into, like... Well, we want to save the Call of the Forest for Ethne, because we don't want to miss Ethne. But if we did play Call of the Forest, it would probably be Call of the Forest into Fove, into, like, another Circle of Life. Or a Rebuke. Or a Caress. It's Yaga! I took a 4P card. I could have maybe avoided- I took two 4P cards. Okay. So... We could continue playing. 
We technically could continue playing. We could pass here and get card advantage. Or we could... Yeah, we could bleed rebuke. I don't even need to bleed rebuke. I could also just call the force this... The Nyad Pawn Keeper next turn. Card advantage is always good. I mean, it's not always good. Yeah, I think I think it's better to just pass. I think it's probably better to just pass and then like. Oh, I don't know. I really don't know. It might not be a. This might not be a good pass. He still has a lot of an engines. He he still has a bloody mistress that we can't answer. He will get piggies back that we can't answer very well. Oh, he has to go. Oh wow, he has to go three cards down. Okay, that's pretty good. That's better than I expected with this pass. Six power Erendite, now seven, eight power Erendite. Keep this for ethereal. We don't want Dryad's Caress. Uh, we don't need two of these. I think I get rid of one of them for now. He's playing three cards down. We don't have a Mahakam Pass, sadly. What do you guys want to do? Uh. It's kind of awkward. Not gonna lie, this is pretty awkward. I think we open Witcher. Gonna wave to her. Is it even possible to lose? I think so. I think it is possible to lose. He's now getting three points a turn. What are we doing? <laughs> He's got an Arendite that does 10 damage right now. I believe it's 10, right? It was 8 at the end of this round, and then 9, 10. His Arendite does 10 damage, and he's got another card in his hand, which is maybe a lock. Shouldn't be ethereal. Could be an incubus. Oh, you know what? I shouldn't have thrown this. He's gonna erendite this. I should have waited until after he passes and then play this. Maybe. Last card, erendite. I mean, aren't aren't we losing here? I feel like we're losing here. I must be on the others. Eat her and save Dryad with her order. Aaron does a lot. Okay.
Um... What's the play here? He's getting three points a turn still. I need 20... I need 21 plus... I need 24... 27... 30 and 3. I need 30 and 3 if I want to keep one card. Can I get 30 and 3? It doesn't look like it. believe I'm not losing. I it doesn't look like I'm getting 30 and 3. What are you? Rebuke fruit. Oh shoot. I should have leadered this last turn. Let's do this. Uh, so now I need 14, I need 16 and 1, which I can't do. 18 and 2? Can I do 18 and 2? That Witcher Adept is how many points? 10? And then Pawn Keeper is how many points? 5? Moves from back row? Okay. Let's do this. I'm getting another four. He's getting another two. So I'm at 39 and I need seven. So this should be enough. I think this should be enough. I'm getting six. He's getting one. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Stressful math. This is the card that I wanted to save. Harder than it looks? Yeah. He has no Erendite left. He has he has an Ethereal left. The threat mainly is Ethereal? Okay, we keep this hand. Or I could get rid of Caress. I could also get rid of Caress. Caress, there's probably not enough time for Caress. If we get rid of Caress and we draw the Dryad, we still have another Dryad. Now we gotta play. Okay, we gotta play the caress anyway. Be gone from Get out! Amuna Mistress is scary. Oh yeah, the tempo is crazy. Deciding. I get incubus. No worries. Sins huh? My speciality. Bro. You cray cray. Why would you even resident in this row? He's trolling now. We got some paid actors. Oh yeah, paid actors, baby. Okay, I mean, you could have done that with Fiend. You lose one point, you're giving... You lose one point, but you take away so many points from me. It's lore friendly. When facing down monsters, you must stall, stand tall in the face of their fearsome might. Yeah. Oh, whew. Nice. That was still nerve-wracking. Despite him- despite us having three card advantage in round two, 
and quadruple last say. It was still extremely nerve wracking. Like, I feel like this could have gone badly for us if he had managed to take round one by only going two cards down instead of three cards down. We would have felt a lot more pressure to use the Call of the Forest into Ethne in round two. And then, yeah. Then we might not actually win or. We did finish Neon White. Yes, we're going to be starting Portal Revolutions today. It should only be like a two or three stream game. Portal Revolutions. Um, Neon White. And then, and then we might do... Uh, we might do... The Lemurian Vampire Golden, Golden Idol DLC. Right after we finish Portal, like sometime next week. <laughs> um... You know what was really fun? I spent 70 hours playing Neon White. 70. I thought it was going to be a 15 hour game. Have I played Factorial? No. I heard it, a lot of people like it though. Portal action today. Yes, Psycho Key. Please check out Factorial. Yeah, save me some time. All right, I I think I've checked it out before in the past and decided it was like a little not exactly for me. I'm going first against line pockets. I want a mulligan ethne. Uh, what do I do with this hand? Just keep it? Okay, let's let's just keep it. Have you ever played any other card games? Yes, I've played Magic and Hearthstone before. I believe we just open Aqua. I think I just want to open off them. Wind whistles, willows whip. Uh, we buff to protect against Junior, and then we have the purify if we need for poison. Hopefully there's no triple poison. I was a Miracle Road gamer in Hearthstone, yeah. Oh, and Marvel Snap, yeah, I do play Marvel Snap. Uh, it has a free trial, Factorial, oh, okay. What kind of Magic player were you? Um, I played Magic when I was really young. Uh, like I, I played Magic, I think around like when I was eight to 11 years old. And I played, I mean, I don't remember if I had a main color. I do remember liking white. But um, I played all the colors. I didn't have like a main. Okay, so he's passing, right? Should I like, I can't tempo pass, can I? I kind of think we just play Mahakam Pass here. Wanna put for my axe? Too young for faction identity, but still interesting, yeah. And then we play Circle of Life, and then I think we play I think we play Circle of Life, and then we play like one of these two cards, probably Caress. He hasn't poisoned anything by then. Never a problem. Four inches of steel could need. Carry over. Let's get the Talinan out of junior range. Like, hmm. Maybe it would have been better to buff this. Or 
Or even this, so that it doesn't die to fucking bare knuckle brawler. Better chance of surviving against bare knuckle brawler. Oh. Love to hear it back for mercy. Oh, all of a sudden he starts fighting for the round. Okay. Alrighty then. Mercenary contract for a casino bouncer. It could very well Ouch. be the of a life. Probably gonna die. Oh. Damn. It's bowed out. Actually, I should probably buff this in case because he might still kill this with Junior. He should have no tall punish left after the, after the Marils. I still have the option of playing Talina in, but it's gonna be overkill. This will all be yours, you boy. If you survive. He got twelve tribute already. Oh my god. Senior, Marils, and... Senior, Marils, and, uh... Shady Vendor. If he leaves his King of Beggars at 5 power or lower, do you guys want to kill King of Beggars, or do you guys want to kill a cut-up lackey? He's probably going to have another spender. It's round one. Like, it would be crazy for him not to have a spender in his hand. And the fact that if he, if he didn't have another spender, he would have buffed this above five, right? Yeah. I think we just, like... Try to stay... So now, I, if he leaves the King of Beggars at 5, I might want to use the second rebuke. What do you guys think now? Kill King of Beggars? Kill Lackey? I don't- I think I would kill Lackey over Disciple. But I, it might be better to kill King of Beggars. But well, wouldn't he have wouldn't he have buffed it? Just spent two coins? Wouldn't he have just spent two coins if he really need, if that was his only infinite spender? That one he venerates not the fire. Hmm, maybe the correct play was to play nothing and just play caress. He's gonna he's gonna stay in the round until we play this to Leonid. So like, we could play Talian in now, or we could wait even one more turn and try to like, arrest first. But if we play, if we caress first and we play Talian in next round, we won't be able to click the Talian in. But he probably passes as soon as we play the Talian in, to be honest. He most likely will pass as soon as we play the Talian. But I think I'm doing this. I don't think we spend the pass click because I don't need it. But after I play this Talina and I have almost no points left. He still has Sesame carryover. He still has Flying Redanian carryover. <coughs> Like, clicking the pass would be a 
an option if we think that it would get us a pass, but I don't think it would get us a pass. The, the five points from the Mahakura. You are worthy neither of mercy nor forgiveness. No bloodshed. Got that? We want Phobe back in the deck? Yeah, I think so. With these still in there? I think we want Phobe back in the deck. You want revenge on the Duan? Start by surviving. Act your age. At two centuries, you behave like you were barely one. Oh. Am I gonna click this pass or not? Blood and neck ends. Similian vibe. I think no. I think we're not. He needs 15 to get ahead. He has two coins. Yes, okay. And this, uh, this actually kills that spender, which is also very nice. Potentially four more points. Or three more points, I guess. This overkilled by one. Okay, that's a hand. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. We keep, right? I don't think I want to go to a long round. I mean, this maybe this pass is baiting us. This Mahakam pass is baiting us into playing this round through. I'm worried about what? I'm worried about the maybe Acherontia and Cleaver. I think we should play, here, but I'm I'm a little bit uncertain of exactly how we should play. Like, should I use this pass now on this? I think so. Or do I use it on this? I think we use it on this. He's devotion, right? Oh, I should have double leadered. Oh, man. That was silly of me. I should have double leadered. I don't need the leaders for much else later. I could click this this turn. You want to pass now? Not yet, right? Uh, what do we do? What do we do? But I really wish I had double leadered. I think maybe we could pass now. This is going to take a lot for him. He needs 13 points here. He has no coins. I get it for him. He'll be at he'll get 4 from this and then 4 from 4 from this, 4 from boat. And then he needs a five. He needs a he needs a crime that does five points with no spender on the board. Okay, that's not enough, right? But then he's gonna have to he's gonna play another card. Woo! Nice. Okay, this this works out very well. He plays another thunder. Your facts, good sir. Are Why does it feel like we might still lose round three? 
gonna come in with a lot of coins. This Ethne might die. 14, 14 coins? He has four in here. Vintrian, thank you for the raid. We can't lose. I think we can't have to hold, right? We have to hold so that we don't break our council. We have double last say. He has five, nine coins, ten coins. He has ten coins already. If he plays a profit four, he can kill Ethne. <laughs> That's actually so scary. Thinking about it. I'm a dwarf of best How many coins does he actually have? He had four. He went to seven, eight, and he clicked once. So he was at four. And now he's at five. I think he's at five. I think he's at five coins right now. So five, six. 10? Okay, so this should be fine. I acknowledge neither your map nor your borders. I don't have another rebuke. It would have been nice to rebuke this. Oh, jeez. Oh. Wait, he plays Hemelfar? We didn't see any Fallen Knights and he plays Hemelfar? <laughs> this is not looking that good. By denying penance, you confirm your guilt. There's still a junior? Such a shame Force Protector sees no play. I mean... It's whatever. Honestly, it's a weak card. It's definitely underpowered. It should be buffed. But, like... I feel like the symbiosis archetype already has enough high power, high provision cards that like, if you buff force protector to the point where it starts getting played, it probably is going to be power creeping because symbiosis also already has a lot of really, really strong upside cards or really, really strong, like um, high provision cards, right? Ethne, Kilianen, Simless. Mahakam Pass, Philavandral, All the Forest. Yeah, I would I would like to nerf frogs. I would definitely like, like to nerf frogs. Oh sweet, the fledgling survived because yes, of our leader this time. Have you made your offering? Saskia, uh-huh. Yeah. And then like non-devotion also has other options, like Heatwave Eskol. This stride is going to be real bad. Oh, you know what I should have done? I should have maybe saved this for last. Oh no, actually it's not It's not, not bad. I'll just click this last. If this survives. There was no junior? He either missed it or... You 
are not worthy of the fire. Like, I don't think Force Protector is even that bad a card, to be honest. It's a unit that plays a special. Basically, Phil Evandrel, like, Phil Evandrel stole Force Protector's spot because Frogs is so good. I did have a brawler. Destiny won't let us talk to strangers. Please don't have like a junior now. That would be crazy if you had a junior now. Worthy neither of mercy nor forgiveness. Ooh, procession of penance. Okay, I think we're winning. We are all equals in pain. He does have spending. This is pretty big lead. This is a pretty big lead, but I think we are winning. Am I? Mm. That's fine, right? That's fine. We just leader this. No mercy. We do this. We leader this, or we put vitality on this, and then we eat all the vitality. If I wasn't able to eat all the vitality, we would have lost. If this got answered, we would have lost. I wonder if he has Junior in his deck. In his Devotion, I, I don't see why it wouldn't be, but he's down to two cards and he didn't play a Junior. <clears throat> At the hit three times because it's the tallest unit, yeah. Woo! It was pretty close. With an extra card? With an extra card and like... A pretty good bleed in round two, I think it's pretty close. All the decisions, all little decisions mattered here. We, um, the, the decision not to click the, yeah, the decision not to click the Mahakam Pass in round one definitely mattered, helping us get us the, get the extra card. Soldiers, maybe. Hope he's not running Surrender. We have Auckland. Oh, I'm Bountiful Harvest. Um, maybe we don't want two of these. Yes, yes. I think this is a fine hand to keep. I always don't know if we should keep the ethic. My instincts would say that we should mulligan Ethne in round one if we think we're going to be in a matchup where we need to like go really deep in round one, but this is probably not one of those. <clears throat> um, we just play this. We don't buff her. Why is that a waterfall? I feel like it could, get, it could get assassinated though. Don't buff her. If we buff her, then like we get shoot 13. Okay, that's that's good. That's fine. Do we want to play caress first or do we want to play fledgling first? Can we play Fledgling first? Take care, Mr. Frost. 
Oh, this could be Renfrey as well. We could also be up against Renfrey. Nope. So it's it's Shoop. He might miss if he doesn't. Okay, he's gonna go again. Caress, you could have Vanamar. Why? Why? Vanamar? No. He's not gonna Vanamar this. There's no Vanamar. Vanamar only, only Imposter plays Vanamar. Okay, so he's going for the round one. So I would probably play Rebuke first. Or. We could. No. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna play this first. Because what I'm scared of doing this first, right? And then he puts the infusion on this, and then we take two points a turn. Like, this is a two point per turn engine. Another lock. Well, now he's putting it on this. He just didn't think he didn't want to put it on a. So maybe it's this is only worth four points then. Not that good. I could also like reset this. This is still growing. Okay, now what? Now we play circle. I could hit this with circle and threaten the rebuke. I think that's fine. Damn, it didn't go on Ethne. He could still have Vanamar, Silex. He's probably gonna lead her again, right? Oh, Roderick. Dante! So, is this a Calvi deck or not? No, it, it is a Calvi deck. It's just Calvi Shoop. But like his Shoop or his Calvi was like at the bottom of the deck somewhere. He played so all of his artifacts in round one. Oh no! Okay, wait, 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 no, we can do this. He played all of his artifacts in round one. Now Calvi is finally on top of his deck. He was moving Calvi up and up and up and up. And it still he couldn't it wasn't in the top wait, what? He didn't or he just chose not to take it. Last man on his I think he just chose not to take it because he didn't want to turn off his own engine. Like, <laughs> he moved Calvi to the top, but then didn't take it. We're on blue. We have currently a two point per turn engine, and he has a two point. I think we play this. Take the nine shot. Up, oh, please. With the we take the nine. Oh my god. Oh, this gives this gives a lot of vitality on our carryover potentially. He probably has to pass here, no? Oh, he's not. I thought he was gonna lock this giant slayer. Locking the giant slayer seems maybe better than doing this. If he just leaders once, we'll get rebuke value. He clicks this too. Oh, he clicks this maybe. We don't really want to use Council if we don't have to. I'm almost out of space.
So he still has, like, I mean, he hasn't played Calvi yet. Oh, he's not Shoop. He's not Shoop. Wait, of course he's not Shoop. We saw two calories already. So now we could think about taking the council. This is good. This is good. Wait, is it good? I don't have a... Oh, shoot. I don't have a... Hmm. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, man. I don't know what to do here. Paralysis. Let's take... This. The only good human is a dead Talian. human. No bloodshed. Got that? Feign not ignorant. Remember to Holy. Believe. Dreadfully sorry. <laughs> Come on, back row. Oh, okay, that's fine. Still two damage. Oh, I could have hit this! No! I could have hit this! I could have hit- well, I needed to go front row. Front row with this to hit this, and then it goes to two, and then this kills it, and then we got the- We got the carryover with the six vitality on it, too. Oh, Wait, he doesn't see it! He's not protecting his illusionist! Play here. Play here. Blood and neck ends. Similian Vat. Um. We're now gonna- if he doesn't buff this- uh, he might buff the illusionist now. No, he doesn't buff it. So then we pass. And when we get carryover, like, we're gonna have card advantage because we have the carryover. And we also have this. And is he even getting ahead? Okay, he's getting ahead. Barely. He's getting ahead. He wins down one, but we have carryover, and he can't really push us because we've got this as well. And we've got still six vitality. <laughs> we have like, we have like a uh, almost twenty carryover between these two cards. And he's not shoop, right? So you can't seize this on the opener, thankfully. Mm. I don't think we want this. Okay, nice. Maybe this Roderick was bad. <laughs> Maybe this Roderick was actually kind of bad. Uh, Squirrel, we don't care about. This, we don't care about. He's just bleeding us. battle stations so he's like semi-serious about this round uh, I think we go um I think we go fove into naiad fledgling wait yes they won't let us talk to strangers Morning, 
And I would buff him. Is he Calvit or not? I guess he's not Calvit. Just leader if I do that. Do I click this now? This now so I don't have to use this. Okay. We're coming in with way more carryover. This is a 16 power ethne, right? This is a 16 power ethne. Or is it an 18 power ethne? Oh, 16. Um, I don't think we want the Roderick anymore at this point. Yeah, battle station sitting so he doesn't play Calvite. <clears throat> These are kind of bad. Uh, I think I'd rather have the Witcher. What? Now we have to break yet another. Click again. Eat way, okay. I mean, um, this gets me this, I suppose. May their rotting corpses fertilize our wood. Nice. Yeah, the Naiad Fledgling is a Naiad, which is also a, a nature card now because of Aquin, so it would give us more points on our symbiosis. Woo! It's been so long that I've, that I've since I've played. I didn't realize evolving cards now maintain boost in hand. It was one of the best changes they did. That uh, evolving cards now maintain boost in hand. Really, really helps out Ethne and Devotion Symbiosis.